Hello there guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well and having a good week. Um, now, obviously, last season for Spurs was a pretty disappointing season, uh, to be fair. Very, very underwhelming. Didn't finish in the top four. As a result, didn't qualify for the Champions League in a season where we really needed that uh, money to bridge the COVID gap in funds, which we had a lot missed out on. Obviously, with the season being shut, fans couldn't go to the stadiums. Mourinho got sacked, Kane wants to leave, lost the Carabao Cup final. It was pretty dire, wasn't it? Um, but obviously, looking forward, obviously now we've got Nuno as manager. Um, you know, although the Kane news is still up in the air, we're not sure what he's going to do. I wanted to have a bit of a positive spin on things heading into a new season. Uh, by finishing seventh in the league last season, we qualified for UEFA's new tournament, the Europa Conference League. Now, it's a new tournament which has been set up, which is for, there's no beating around the bush here, essentially the third tier of European teams that can compete with each other for a trophy. It will take place the same uh, match day as the Europa League, and the winners automatically win a spot for the Europa League in the following season. Obviously, it's not ideal at all that Spurs are in this tournament. I'll put some of the stadiums and the teams up now um, so you can have a look at who we might be facing in this tournament. But I wanted to look at it a different way and I wanted to basically give you an idea of who I think should be breaking through into that Spurs team for the Conference League games this season. Now, obviously, you know, when you're coming up against teams from Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, you know, Belarus, all these places, you don't really want the senior lads to be travelling all around Europe when they have a game probably 72 hours later in the Premier League. Um, it's not going to be high on our priority list. You could be argued it would probably be beneath the League Cup this season as well. But I think it'll be a really, really good opportunity for Nuno to blood through a lot of the very young, promising talent that we have at the club. So I've given a list of five players which I think would really flourish in a Conference League team for Spurs this season. So the top five that I've got here, number one is an, um, an Estonian centre-half, 17-year-old lad that we signed from Estonia, from Tallinn called Maxim Potoshi. Now, very, very highly rated. He only joined us last season, um, and already he's been capped by the Estonian national team at the age of 17 years old. Um, obviously, with our defensive problems, you know, it looks like Toby wants to go, Sanchez wants to go, Dyer's not what he used to be. I think that this would be an excellent opportunity for someone like Potoshi to break through into the team for the Conference League and hopefully, you know, who knows, maybe make a stake in those games to get a bit more senior game time. He's very well thought of at the club. And like I say, with that international experience he's now getting at just 17 years old, I think he'd be a great shout to be put in that squad. Next up, um, it's a 16-year-old midfielder called Alfie Devine. Signed in from Wigan um, at the end of the season before last, when Wigan had considerable financial difficulties. Very, very highly rated, already playing for a load of England youth international teams. I think that he would definitely be one to take in the squad, although, you know, he might not play at just 16 years old. That's another one who I think would benefit from a lot of experience at that level. And, you know, in group games and stuff like that, why not throw him on for a half or so, um, you know, to blood these youngsters through? Another young English lad that would come through the academy in the mould of um, Harry Winks would be fantastic. Uh, next up is a left back. You've probably heard of him before, Danis Serkin or Kirkin. Not entirely sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, he was born in Ireland, 19 years old, left back. Um, although we've got Reguilon and Davies in the side, um, you know, Serkin's been around for a very, very long time now. He's a very attacking left back, loves to get up and down, very well thought of in the youth academy. Um, you know, he came in as a first year scholar and he's worked his way up. I know that he made the bench for a couple of Europa League games under Poch and under Mourinho, I believe. And um, he, he's another one that I think could take the pressure off of Reguilon and Davies in this conference league and, you know, make that squad for sure and try and make a name for himself. Especially if Nuno plays a back five, which I think he's going to. I think it would be a great opportunity for Serkin to get into that team in the conference league. Uh, next up, we've got two more to go. Harvey White. Now, Harvey White is one of the most uh, promising midfielders that has come through our academy for a couple of years. 
20 years old. Um, he's English. He spent the second half of last season on loan at Portsmouth, where he impressed. I think Portsmouth disappointed in the end. I don't think they even made the playoffs, or if they did, they certainly didn't go up through the playoffs. But uh, Harvey White is one of them that's very highly thought of in the academy setup. Uh, you know, I, th I think Ryan Mason thinks a lot of him. Wayne Burnett, who's the under 18s manager as well, thinks a lot of him. Um, he actually made the bench for a couple of Europa League games and played against Ludogrets in the 4-0 uh, win last season. He also played, if you remember, we played Marine in the FA Cup. He played in that game as well. I think he'd come on as a second-half substitute. So that would be another excellent opportunity for him to come in, get in that squad and get some senior squad experience. I'd really like to see him. Uh, and the final player that I tipped to do really, really well in the Conference League for Spurs, I really hope he makes a squad this season, is 17-year-old Dane Scarlett. Now, you've probably heard of Dane Scarlett before. His name has been going round the Wonder Kid lists on Football Manager and FIFA. He is very, very well thought of at Spurs and in the England youth setup in general. 17 years old, he's English and he's a striker. Um, he's currently a second year academy graduate in the under 18 squad but he has been banging goals for fun at that level and there is actually talk that if he doesn't go out on loan this season Nuno might actually get him in and around the first team anyway. Jose Mourinho come out in one of his Roma press conferences and said that he's a frighteningly good talent. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how Dane Scarlett does. I really hope he gets game time in the Conference League, especially, you know, with the uncertainty around who we're going to have up front this season. If, whether Kane goes, we've been linked with Danny Ings as well. But if Nuno does play a two in mid, um, sorry, if he does play a two up front, which it is rumoured that he's going to be looking at, I would definitely have Dane Scarlett as one of the two up front. I think he, you know, I've not seen much of him, but, you know, obviously if you have a look at, um, you know, like Spurs archives and stuff like that, he's quick. He reminds me exactly of Jermaine Defoe. I think he'd be excellent to see how we get on against some of these smaller nations, these smaller teams in the Conference League. So there are my five, Dane Scarlett, Maxim Potoshi, Alfie Devine, Dennis Serkin and Harvey White. If there's any others from the Spurs you've set up that you think might make that step up, I think it's a fantastic opportunity for Spurs to do that this season. Obviously, let me know in the comments below. Um, and until next time, guys, yeah, take care. Follow me on my social media and I'll see you soon. See you later. Cheers. Bye.